Super volcanoes are mother nature's super explosives, sleeping right under our bare feet, slowly and lazily getting ready to erupt and cause catastrophic damage to what comes in their way. What would happen if all super volcanoes erupted at once? Did you know that super volcanoes can help life renewed? There are 20 super volcanoes scattered around the world at the moment, which are at different stages of their life cycle. Volcanoes are formed when the Earth's core heats the mantle layer and melts the rocky material into magma, which then rises into Earth's crust, building enough pressure and when magma reservoir hits a critical mass, it explodes. Supervolcanoes are the most complex type of volcanoes. How dangerous a supervolcano can be depends on the magnitude of its volcanic explosivity index, which scientists use to determine the volcanic pyroclastic flow and tephra impact. The volcanic explosivity index starts from 1 and increases up to 8. With each increment, the magnitude increases algorithmically. The highest index value is 8 where the impact is about 1000 cubic kilometers. Every continent around the world has at least one supervolcano. The last supervolcano called Mount Tambora, they erupted in Indonesia in 1815, killing 92,000 people and in size it was one seventh of a small supervolcano. The super eruption was so strong that before the mountain height was 14,000 feet and after eruption it was 9,354 feet. On VEI scale it was 7. Before a supervolcano erupts, it mostly shows seismic activity through earthquakes or loud underground roars. When a supervolcano erupts, it ejects pyroclastic flow, which is fast-moving lava, ash, and hot gases. Whatever comes in its way faces its demise. This pyroclastic flow and tephra released can cause extreme damage such as collapsing building, contaminating water, bringing down power grids, affecting wildlife, everything leading to increased famine. Due to the hot gases released from eruptions such as sulfur dioxide, it would acid drain for a whole decade. A supervolcano goes through three different stages of its life cycle. First, surge of magma, second, super eruption, third, resurgence. Most recent super eruption occurred in New Zealand 26,000 years ago when Mount Taupa ejected 1100 cubic kilometer of tephra. After super eruption, a supervolcano goes under resurgence, such as Yellowstone volcano, which erupted 640,000 years ago and is currently under resurgence. This is impossible though, but if by any unfortune all supervolcanoes around the world erupted at once, the whole world land body would be covered with tephra or ash. The ash would stay in the earth's stratosphere for 5 months at least. This would plunge worldwide temperature by 15 degrees causing massive famine, like Mount Tambora eruption caused famine which killed 80,000 lives. The good news is that it's very rare for a super volcano eruption to take place in our lifetime. So sit back, enjoy and keep watching Curious Machine.